This must be their house. This is definitely their house. The wood around the window frames, the paint on that is peeling. I mean, even the brickwork, look, they are crumbling. Oh, this needs some TLC. I think you're being generous. Oh, wow. I've just gone back in time, Scarlett. Now, I know you like carpet, Scarlett, but you can't like any of the carpets that I've just seen. I don't know how you've skipped the hole to look at the carpet. Stuart, look at the size of that hole in the corner. OK, yeah, the wood is rotten. And they're probably going to have to rip all of these floorboards up to make that good, and that's going to be costly. This whole house needs to be ripped up. <laughs> You're right, it does. It really does. And even looking through there, that lean-to, terrible. There's so much damp. You can see how the wall there is just popping, bubbling up. This, for me, would have to go. Another space riddled with damp. And because it's just the lean-to, it's more cost-effective to lose it altogether than try to repair. And then I would open all of this up and have a really nice open-plan kitchen space. By removing the wall between the sitting room and the kitchen, Luke and Cheryl can create an impressive open-plan space that's ideal for them as a family. So that's quite a list for the building work, but what about the style of the interior? We wanted to keep it quite neutral. It maybe added like a splash of colour here and there. But um, yeah, keep it quite nice and modern. Luke and Cheryl bought their Victorian semi for £275,000 and have an £80,000 budget. With the ceiling price for properties on this street at £450,000, they have a strong chance of building up some serious equity. There's one more area where I feel Luke and Cheryl could benefit from some guidance. Buying a house with damp is a huge risk and fixing it can make a big dent on finances. I want to get this issue fixed once and for all and those dangerous floorboards need to go. Now, I've always been one to get involved in the rip house, so are you up for it? Let's go for it, yeah. yeah. This job would normally cost around £150 a day in labour. You take these. Thank you. Goggles and I'll take these. This wood is really rotten, and even the joists below are rotten. It's just peeling away. Now, you're definitely doing the right thing in taking these out, because this is a health hazard. This house has been built with a suspended timber floor that hasn't been properly ventilated. While we work on eliminating the damp inside, Builder Kai is solving this issue at the source. Air bricks allow fresh air to circulate below the floor and prevent the build-up of moisture. At a total cost of £800, that's money well spent. Replacing floorboards and joists cost on average £700 per room. Doing the strip out ourselves is saving a big chunk of that bill. Luke and Sherelle are making some great progress, but they've got to make some decisions. The budget, it's creeping up. Can they keep control of it? I'm not sure if they're going to do it. The moving date's set, so it's crunch time. They've been working around the clock to create a dream family home, while living in a one-bed rental with their eight-month-old son, Koa. Koa's just started to crawl. I want him in his own bedroom. It's a race against time to get in. Battling unexpected delays and a tight three-month deadline, they had their work cut out. It's taken a little bit longer than we thought. Working after work and at the weekend. We're really proud, aren't we? Super proud, yeah. But have they achieved everything they set out to and stuck to their budget? They've now transformed three dingy and damp rooms into one light and spacious open-plan kitchen diner. The lean-to has gone and made way for a side extension, which makes this space perfect for their needs as a family and also provides plenty of room to entertain. Oh my gosh. Look at this. The space, the colours, the doors that separate the two rooms. I like the fact that the staircase is open and as you walk down the stairs, you see this. I think it's very clever. I like the contrast of black and white. You've done a very, very good job. The hole in the floor. We've got to address the hole in the floor. You have to address it, I have to address it, because I was the one that was trying to pull up all the old floorboards oh. to get rid of them. It's nice that we've got an actual floor that we can walk in without there being a hazard. So you bought the property for £275,000. Yep. You spent £90,000 doing it up. 
So that takes you all in at £365,000. Yeah. Now, we did get three valuations, so we have an average price that your house is now worth. Before we tell you that price, how much do you both think it's worth? I don't know, I was thinking, like, 420 I don't know, something like that. The average was £483,333. That means you made a profit of £118,333, wow. which is just over 32% profit increase. How are you feeling now you know those numbers? Oh, Being the numbers, man, I'm super happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bet. So, there you go. Yeah. yeah, well, we've put so much hard work into it, so it's so nice to, to hear that. No, you should both be so proud. You really should. Mm. Like, those numbers mm. are astounding. Luke and Sherelle really have worked hard to create a family home that's not only beautiful, but a great investment for their future.